Hey, welcome hey. to the Slope Podcast. It's a podcast where we talk about Sakamichi series idols, mm. Yoshimoto Zaka, mm. Nogi Zaka, Ooh. Keaki Zaka, mm-hmm. ah. the other Keaki Zaka. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm Boy, and I'm joined with Jimmy and Josh. What's and up, guys? Hi. What a sad show we have tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, but first, we have some stuff to go through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before we no. can even talk about why we're all Brought sad. Brought to you by two guys who are too lazy to go to Japan, but the third guy is Ooh. Hooray. Oh, congratulations, Jimmy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, dude. You, we, we, all, we all watch the stream, dude. Mr. Box planning his trip. Go to Japan, dude. So what are you most excited to do? Um... This is a PG show, right? <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, what? All right, we'll no, leave no, it at no. that. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. lewd dudes. Uh, okay. Idols and food. Come on. Of course. Okay. What's the? What's the? Only that's the only answer, dude. Right. Okay. Right. I went to Las Vegas over the weekend, not to gamble or anything. Not, not yeah. even for Evo, which was the big event going on that weekend. It was for the food. Ooh. As always. All right. What was what was your number one spot that you went to? Like, uh, as far as like s- stuck in your memory the most. It's either no, it's the steakhouse. Ooh. I always go to a steakhouse when I go to Vegas, and this one has been the best so far. It's called Bazaar Meat. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it was damn good, son. In what? second place is the Momofuku restaurant. Ooh, I was going to say, mm. Dave Chang. Not our friend David Chang. Yeah. Acclaimed chef David Chang. <laughs> it was incredible. We got the chicken with the caviar. <laughs> oh, his fried chicken and caviar thing, dude. It was good. So mm. when Josh comes back, we'll ask him the same question. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite spots. Yeah. No, you get one. Oh, that one. Is, that is the rule. But boy got two. <laughs> I, it was an honorable mention, man. Yeah, oh, honor, yeah. Okay, I'll do. An, I'll do the. Gonna, five how long mentions. will you be in Japan? Uh, it'll be three weeks. What? That's a really long that's time. A good, that's shit. a good chunk of time. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's a, a good chunk, well, right? That's a good amount of time, right there. Right, well, most, get, most people go for like ten days to two weeks, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister Box, might as well. <laughs> might Twenty as well. Ball, ball hard. days. All right, Balling so you'll get. Hard. You get most memorable runner-up. And uh, and an honorable mention. Can I get a worst while I'm at it then? Okay. There's well, no such thing. You're going to Japan. What the? Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna, just, even the kombini food is probably better than your, restaurant food. Your worst will be least good. You know least what I mean? Least good. good. Uh-huh. It'll be American quality. So are there any uh, events going on while you're there? Uh, there's a Can't graduation she... concert from the other group. Uh, is that what you're going to catch? Uh, hopefully I can impossibly hard okay yeah good luck with that my dude (laughs) I know yeah Uh, (laughs) and then I have to check uh, what else any handshake events Uh, no no ones because I checked too late (laughs) it happened like a week before the final day you need you need to start leveraging that that YouTube subscriptions, you know? Like every video from now on is like, Hey guys, I'm gonna be in Japan from these dates. Help me get to this show. I tried that once it didn't work. Yeah, I'll be good to this show if you buy if you get two tickets. I'll I'll hang out with you. I guess I'll hang out with you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I hope to hang out with people, eat some food, check out some idols. Speaking yeah, of speaking of hanging Mike out with some there, idols, so. dude. Um, coming up in a very very shortly, right? Mm-hmm. A couple weeks away now at this point, right? Not even, uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after. Uh, we're going to be having some Chica Idols come to the States, come to visit us down in SoCal at East Meets West Music Festival, right? Mm-hmm. So so we got we got some stuff to, to announce regarding that. The VIP is over, boys. Uh-huh. The winner has been contacted, so stop commenting on that tweet. <laughs> yeah, guys, so stop many, blowing you know, up our Twitter, <laughs> guys. can't stop commenting on that tweet. My phone just vibrates tweet, all day, you know every day. Saying? All but three of yeah. you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> if you uh, retweeted or liked it, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, much, much love. At least that. we saw people that, that saw it. 
Mm-hmm. So, VIP winner, we'll see you there at the event. Mm-hmm. Come say hi. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, so uh, <laughs> one of the groups headlining, right, will be, in fact, Necronomid All. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Josh, you've done some stuff with them before. How, how, mm-hmm. how was your experience with them? Uh, very fun. Very fun, and their performance is really good. And they're just overall good people. Good people. Uh, mm-hmm. On that note, uh, our friend Nick will be interviewing one of the groups from uh, East Meets West. Uh, is it the one you just mentioned? I said one of the groups. <laughs> if you want to, oh, okay, so it's not that one. Okay. If you okay. want to know who, who you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the show. This is what <laughs> we have just at the end. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Even though it's on Twitter already. <laughs> But anyways, um, but yeah, yeah. So we, we will have a show with Nick on this Twitch account. Uh, what is it? On the 14th? 13th? 14th, Japan. 13th, 13th for us in the... Here uh, in so, the United States. Yeah, so we'll be on the 14th at 1300 or 1 p.m. Uh, mm-hmm. Japan. Japan time, whatever that is. And then, uh, yeah, so... So figure out when that is for you guys, and make sure you yeah. watch. And for you West yeah. Coast people, that's uh, the 13th at 9 mm-hmm. p.m. So Nick uh, is going to do some IRL streaming on our very own channel. And if you caught the uh, the one he did a while back mm-hmm. with Machi Musume, mm-hmm. that's kind of how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. But this time he's with an idol group. Oh, well, there we go. It's ramped up. I know, dude. We're, we're, we're more people. We're stepping so closer to, to the dream, in. dude. It's gonna be a fun one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, be sure to tune in. We'll put out tweets like more as it comes closer. Mm-hmm. More deets and all that fun shit. So mm-hmm. yeah, should be good stuff. So can we get into? Some of the current events. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, but first of all, before we get to that, we have to we have to pay some bills around here. You know. Indeed, we do. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, guys. You know, do, running a podcast is a lot of, harder than most people like to think it is. You know, you gotta gotta get together, you gotta have, make sure that you have a a processor powerful enough to uh, uh, record and stream. Um, footage while if you're doing it live like we do and then you have to mm-hmm. make sure that you 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 have your audio processing software going on top of oh, that yes. as well mm-hmm. you know it's 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 mm-hmm. pretty it's pretty tech intensive right mm-hmm. and so when when i'm looking for a good computer i always turn to mouse computer oh um, yes mouse computer the one nogizaka is promoting um, they're going to have, like, an animated version of their commercial. Oh, oh, oh. Now, this hasn't came out yet. They just announced it, right? I yeah, was hoping yeah, yeah. it would come out by, by the time we started. we started this goddamn show, but it ain't. <laughs> we, took, a, we got, we, took a risk. We got some, some images We gambled and, stuff, and lost. Right? Like... We have. So the the character designer uh, is uh, Sadamoto Yoshiyuki. If you're into that anime, he's the... The very same dude who uh, designed uh, Evangelion characters. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you look at the art, it's very similar. Yeah, mm-hmm. It looks kind of more like the manga, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. Big, big name from Gainax mm-hmm. coming through. Should be pretty interesting. Um, mm-hmm. If you didn't know, the mouse computer members is Hori, Miona, mm-hmm. Nishino Nanase. Oh. Saito Asuka, Shirashimai, and Ikuta Erika. Mm-hmm. They're like a band and stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm just, so I'm just saying, dude, we're living it. out our, our best weeb dreams, you know? <laughs> oh, look at look at that Evangelion art of my girls, dude. Ah. <laughs> mm, yes. Your favorite's indeed. Asuka Langley, dude. Mine is Shirashimai, dude. <laughs> ah, damn. Wait, 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 Asuka, you were going to say Saito. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Retake, retake, retake. Do that, retake. Do that start over. Start over, Jimmy. Ah, uh, your favorite's Asuka Langley, dude. Mine's Asuka Saito, dude. <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, man, what a missed opportunity for me, dude. Nice recovery, <laughs> but uh, 
no commercial. <laughs> it was not released like I thought it was going to be mm. yet. So, mm. so <laughs> when it comes out, it'll probably be on their YouTube channel. We'll have another so sponsored we'll, video we'll when that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is it for the shilling, not really shilling segment corner thing. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to some groups. Some Yoshimoto Zaka mm. Finally. news. Some more news. It's two weeks in a row. Dude, my... Pong champ. After everything, this is my new favorite group, dude. Hell yeah. So, uh, as you know, <laughs> haven't let me the down fifth, round, them, dude. <laughs> fifth round uh, was going on last week. And mm -hmm. uh, they had the dancing, the choreo. The choreography thing where all the groups uploaded all of their videos already 12 groups and um you know how we were talking about the uh, overseas members who are trying to audition mm -hmm. they just had separate videos because <laughs> right, we were like oh how are they gonna get together and do the dance With the, and their stuff? team and stuff right like it's like well they just uh they just filmed themselves separately just like individual or what yeah, well, some, the ones who could be together, you know, got together, mm. but the ones who were just themselves, they're just, you know, just put it, put the camera on and start dancing. And okay. so, uh, 80, uh, 80 people passed. Still a lot. Went through, and our girl, Repopo, of course, has advanced. Mm. And just as last, importantly... Mm. If if not even more importantly, mm, mm, tell me our boy Masa has passed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Ooh. won our hearts last. My week. my diamond uh, in the rough, dude. <laughs> he's gone through also. Um, so, uh, well, well, Takano Yui, who was also a former idol with Repopo, she mm -hmm. is through. A lot of people, man, eighty. Mm -hmm. So the final round of auditions is the the next one whatever how many how many are gonna leave <laughs> all right knows? 60 of you have to leave <laughs> yeah dude, that's what right, i'm saying that's like, it's been like so gradual uh -huh. like mm -hmm. oh we're just gonna cut like 20 at a time and now it's just like all right everybody's out after this round dude. right <laughs> that'd be like very com com comedian of them right uh, like all of a yeah. sudden just remove all of them yeah. you would think they cut a lot of people after the dancing right yeah yeah Oh, dude, they're gonna, yes. what, what they're going to do is they're going to get everyone together in a room. They're going to be like, all right, after today, we're going to cut like 60 of you. And mm -hmm. then the members that do the stupid fall thing from comedy, they'll get to mm -hmm. stay, dude. Oh, and and everybody oh. who just stands there looking bewildered, you're out. You're axed. That was the <laughs> right. final test, dude. You're just like, you get it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, dude. Yeah. You're like, uh -huh. Ugh. Yeah. And so uh, they're going to have some kind of event or a concert or something on the 20th of August. Mm -hmm. So they, something might happen there. That might be the final round. Ooh, we'll see. The people in the audience have to vote for, for the people. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, keep keep supporting our girl, Ripopo. Mm -hmm. You know. And our boy, Masa. And, and Most, our, and more our importantly. Masa. More Masa. importantly, Masa. <laughs> Repopo, she's alright, dude. <laughs> she make it. Yeah, she, she's good. Our, like, we already have a Re Repopo photo book, alright? Like, Re Repopo's just the front. Like, we were actually cheering for Masa, dude. Like, yeah. Like, until I get an opportunity to have a Masa photo book, he needs to make it, dude. Indeed. Oh, does this mean I have to start buying guy photo books, too? From oh, no. Yoshimoto? The, the lengths we must go to. Go to. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going on with Yoshimoto Zaka. Mm -hmm. Hopefully more announcements, more frequent announcements mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Should we talk about uh, this one first? Uh, sure. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Ambivalent? Yeah, you know, the new Ambivalent. Kiaki single? Yes, we watched the uh -huh. music video uh -huh. last week. Well, it seems like there are new jacket covers and profile pictures for that. Oh, yeah. So, uh, looking through the Let's jacket Let's look covers. at the, uh, yeah, jacket covers. So, there's a pretty cool, like, uh, group photo there. Mm -hmm. They're wearing the same outfits as mm -hmm. the music video with the white shirts and the blue skirts and general, you know, 
I guess black skirts? I don't know. Black and white tone thing, but there's like all these colorful, like. Oh, I'm, I'm tripping Circular out. Circular objects. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little. I don't know. Maybe some bouncy balls, dude. Yeah. It might <laughs> it's a lot of bouncy balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice yeah. contrast. Um, yeah, so. I'll, I'll wait for my segment at the end. Okay. Let's go through the, the types here. Type A is the Techi solo, of course, traditionally, Techi by herself. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, well, it's, it's kind of cool. It is bouncy balls. Look at that. Yeah. Actual balls. And she's laying down, and it's like a very mirror-like floor. Mm -hmm. Type B, bouncy balls going crazy. Has Habu, Suzumon, Kobayashi, and Risa. It's the front girls with techie type C has the middle row uh, it's a closer shot type D half of the back row they're sitting down mm -hmm. and then the regular version I I quite like you know the, the other half of the back row they're like standing up looking out mm-hmm uh, you really see that reflection going on. Pretty cool. Um, Jimmy, what do you think? Uh, you know, I like the, the use of like the reflections from the floor. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I think Type C is probably my least favorite. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, if you're going to have it, you know, like it's kind of... It's kind of like it, it almost becomes like the theme, right? On top of like the bouncy balls, because mm -hmm. of like the other jacket covers. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, mean, I feel like because of that, that one's kind of like randomly without. Right. Uh, so I I feel like I wish compositionally they would use the uh, the floor reflection a little bit more, like for the framing of the picture. Like the touchy one's cool. That one's probably like the most straightforward, but I like it. Um, the sitting down one is cool. I like how the standing up one, the the regular version one looks, but I don't like that it's cropped right on Nijika's head's reflection. You know, like mm. if you just gave it a little bit more space, I'd be like, oh. I see, right. yeah. But conceptually, mm -hmm. I, I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. All right, Josh. <sighs> I'm getting ready. <sighs> I want my hands up. <laughs> uh, I like I like the concept of this. Uh, I feel like it gets too repetitive, though. Like, I feel like once I looked at two of them, I, I've mm. almost seen all of them. I see. Uh, I, I think one way they could have solved this, maybe different color bouncy balls for every type. Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I just look at it, I just see people people posing in a black background and the balls flying around. Yeah, yeah. And then you like after, like, once you get to type C, you're like, okay... I know I know what to expect for the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't crop heads, that that'd be beneficial too. Like Jimmy yeah, said, yeah. like for type D and regular. Mm -hmm. But I like the, the overall content to it. I just feel like it's a little too much. Like the group the group cover photo is like really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorites uh, mm -hmm. from all all the singles that they've done. Yeah, they crop they crop Chan right at her neck, dude. <laughs> Ugh. Just beheaded her reflection, dude. <laughs> and again, it's like a reflection. It's not the biggest deal, but like, still. Yeah, I'm just, like it's not supposed to be the focus, right? But it's kind of it's kind of cool just to yeah, have it. It's an aspect yeah. of it, right? Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So pretty cool. What do you think about the uh, little typeset there they have on the title? Interesting. It doesn't even say Kiyakizaka anywhere. Oh. All you need is the the pyramid, the triangle. Yeah, yeah, it's just ambivalent, but it's in a very. Stylish... But then you don't know which Kiyaki Zaka it is. Ugh, I don't. I don't know these members. Ugh. Only thing is on the uh, Type C, it's almost illegible. Mm, yeah, because right? it's Cause, mostly oh, yeah, over it's their not... clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not enough of like uh, a shadow behind it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure like what I would do if I were if I were in their shoes though. You know mm -hmm. yeah but then again it's it's all centered right like mm -hmm. the title it's in the center of every mm -hmm. type so i guess 
Let's just slap on the rest. Leave the text there and just copy and paste it real quick. Yeah. yeah that's why I feel like text-wise, the the Techie one is probably the best one. Because mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. the most straightforward one, but it also like, yeah, like how the ambivalent font-like text bisects where the reflection and like the actual Techie meet. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, it doesn't have like the weird like motion lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ball's just there, you know. So. so you think they're just using like a low shutter speed and like girls stand very slowly. Don't you dare blink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think overall pretty cool look. Yeah, as someone said, I don't know how Sugai did it since she hates bouncy balls and glass and both of those things. Just triggered, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just can't catch them, guys. Oh, see, that's why they had to use that one for type C, dude. That was like the only one they can get of her where where it was like sharp enough, dude. If uh, uh, that's not her, like Yeah. Tr- tr- trying to cover they just, her head. They just got a face away. from a different thing and they just put it on there. Like, in reality she was like there, there's there's like time. one graphic designer sitting there just like Ugh. I can't use any of these. Fine, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just get it for the profile picture. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we got the pro- new profile pictures, all new, mm. ex- except for Sheeta and Harada Oi. Because, <sighs> you know, they're both on hiatus for different reasons. But, <sighs> um, you know, kind of just standing in front of... Uh, the same background for everyone it looks like mm-hmm. it's kind of like geometric shapes here um all right are we, are we deciding who has the best pictures as i'm, we I'm looking through right now it's shiori's picture is nice i like uh, without choosing your own oshiman i can oh. choose mine Ooh. <laughs> i mean her photo still looks good though yeah well, i bet beautiful. you this one would have been the best one, dude. <laughs> All right, I have mine. Jimmy, do you have yours? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Mm-hmm. All, right, all right, I have mine. I have mine. I have mine. I have mine. Okay, ready? In on three, we all say it at the same time. Okay. Or just say no, I guess. Say no. Shiori. Shiori. Oh, I'm the old. <laughs> oh, who did you say? I said Risa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just for just for you, bud. Thanks, my dude. Risa uh, has that like little health tilt going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like the expression you get with Risa's. Um, was it like uh, yeah, kind of like the the down to the side, looking straight up at the camera. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of a dramatic and like makes some kind of like parallel lines with the backdrop, which I thought was like probably not intentional, but looks cool. So uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you guys, you guys both picked. Satoshi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the uh, one. She's side. looking good. <laughs> like, she looks good, but, you know, I like the hair. The windswept like, yeah. look, right? Is... Uh-huh. But also, like, one like one side behind the ear. Mm. I like that look. See, that's why Sheeta's photo looks good. Right but, next but, to hers. But see, I like the, the behind the ear look if the other side was just a swoop. You know? Mm. What like, I mean? like Sheeta's photo? I see what you yeah. mean. But like in general, like for that hairstyle, that's what that's how I like it. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the bangs with the behind the I ear. See. It, it, it's like it has too much of an innocent look to it, you know. Mm, okay. I, I, I like her. I like Shiori's expression in this. It's very like soft, but yet yeah. like per, good looking, looking kind of through you, at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's like she, yeah, it's a good, it's a good expression. See into your soul. She knows who you are, dude. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, mm-hmm. that's a lewd boy. So, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. I I just kind of wish the background was a little had a little bit more variation for each of the mm. members. It's like this exact same one. Yeah, at, at the exact of, same spot too. Right? Like, like yearbook photos over here. Or what? Yeah, dude, we got some yearbook. Oh, photos. except except Habu's is a little bit different because she's too tall. Right. Oh yeah, it is a little different. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, you tell the close. the angle yeah. is a little bit more upwards, dude. To yeah, Nato's Nero, yeah. is a little bit different too. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's like slight variances in the. <laughs> Risa's like, you want to see more of the background? I got you. The <laughs> angle, but like you know, it's it's pretty much the same thing, right? So, what do you guys think about Techie's picture? Uh, it's alright. 
uh, I know she's trying to look all like angsty and stuff, but she looks so cute, dude. <laughs> like with Shut the up. haircut, it's so it's so round, dude. Like, oh, I just want to mm, complete you know? the roundness <laughs> yeah. right there. Can can we also? Would you guys be down with giving the glow up award? I was about to say Yonatani the same thing. Nanami, dude. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, dude. I just saw it right now. I'm like, that glow up. No. <laughs> she went to that stupid makeup weird. school, dude. Met some gal <laughs> yeah, friends, and now she's like, right. the brown y'all. hair helps a lot too. It just kind of like brightens her look. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That glow up, very mm. nice. All right, all right. We are all in agreement there. Mm-hmm. All right, well, mm-hmm. first first annual glow up award goes to Yoda. Tani <laughs> not to me, dude. That by, glow by, up. by next year we'll forget. Yeah, well we won't remember to do it again. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll, we'll do it for every profile picture. How about that? Okay, okay we'll, we'll yeah. do favorites and then. Are we like going off the previous one or just in general? I'd say in general. Yeah. Okay, in general. Like, I'm who, guessing who surprised you the most with their. Okay. You know, like, mm. like oh, mm. I got you. Okay. Like, it's it's possible for Mayan to get a Glow Up Award if she just came out with the heat more so than ever, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if, uh. she, if she, like, went all out, you're just like, what is this? <laughs> then I'd say we give it. Like, like that's, that should be the standard. Okay, okay. Yeah. That is the criteria. Okay. And I guess it's harder for, like, better looking members because they have, they have, like, a harder yeah, threshold yeah, yeah, to get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You saying Yone Ugo or there? No, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying. Like like Gosh, like a Mayan level like that's hard to like make her like say she oh, got yeah. a glow up. Yeah, yeah. So you saying Mayan uh, already peaked, dude? No, I'm saying she already looks good. <laughs> I'm expecting Hiragana to maybe get something also. Maybe when they finally get a single. Yeah. So let's that's, uh, yeah. let's get let's get past these overexposed photos, dude. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's uh that's the profile photos. They all look mm-hmm. pretty good. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout outs to all the Japanese Twitter users, those those heavy Kayaki fans for compiling all profile pictures up until mm. this iteration. And you can see They probably like, just have a PSD and they just like screwed everything over. <laughs> yeah, the big, big ups to them for uh-huh. you know, always keeping it going, every new profile picture set. Yeah, it's always ha- having to save twenty one photos. Unfortunately it seems like that twenty one it's gonna be no longer though. Oh my god! You, you can't use so... a transition for something like this, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, Josh Bucks, you monster. To, like, casually. <laughs> oh, by the way, this girl's gone. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, it was announced. Speaking of a glow up, guys, you know who's glowing up right out the group? What? <laughs> anyway, Imaizumi uh, Yui announced her graduation earlier today, maybe yesterday. I don't. This is the first graduation announcement from Keiaki Saka. And, well, I mean... Um, official. Okay. Official graduation. She was, got, that that was, wasn't a graduation. Was yeah. She got fired, dude. Well, we got kicked out. But, you know, she, there's there's a news post on the Keiaki Saka website. Mm-hmm. Um, she will not be on the tour, mm-hmm. which begins this weekend. Um, you know, she's not even in the single. She has a solo song mm-hmm. in the single. Um, so, yeah, Imaizumi's graduate. Can we have a moment of silence? Everyone, mo- moment of silence. Everyone, type your ellipses. Okay. Uh, Can we go back to the days I love? <laughs> F, F for strong. F for respects, my dudes. Yeah, so she announced her graduation. She made a blog post. Made a blog uh, post, and Kiyakizaka officially put up a statement on it. And so you know, she's she said like, I've been on and off hiatus. Of course, mm-hmm. last year she had a pretty long hiatus, and she came back for a bit, and then went on another one. Mm-hmm. And they so, came back and was a little bit in and a little bit out. Yeah, and then, you know, it's like she's not even in the new single. So it's like, well, shit, I can't hang and keep doing this. Mm-hmm. And like kind of... Off and on, right? On, on and off kind of thing. Kind of implying that, you know, it's it's easier for everyone, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, they don't have to plan around her shit or like, you know, because mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and she doesn't. Who knows, right? She doesn't have to like try to force herself to like keep up, mm-hmm. right? When uh, like, obviously it's like breaking in and wearing her out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's why it's so rough, man. Like, I don't know, dude. It's like it, it, it's not even like a graduation. Like, okay, dude, I'm I'm done and ready to move on to do oh, other yeah. things. I'm, right? gonna, I'm gonna move on do other stuff. Yeah, it, I have it, more opportunities. It, it's, up. Yeah, it's like. It's more of like I don't want to say wasted potential because she still wants to do stuff, but I think that's great. And like obviously, you know, I'm still gonna support her when when she does come out and starts doing solo work and stuff like that. So it's just like, oh man, you know, it's like the time with the group was cut off short, is what it feels like for me. You know, because mm-hmm. like uh-huh. it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a decision made solely like because she was ready. It was done because like yeah, she for like. I don't want to assume because, you know, there's only so much we know, but it just seems yeah, like yeah, exactly. her health issues and things like that and why mm-hmm. she keeps constantly having to take hiatus seems to be, like, the biggest reason, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I've been yeah, legit and, uh, sad about it all day, guys. Like, Yeah, waking up to that news is not like, the best thing. <laughs> yeah, um, so apparently she mentioned other members. You know, of course, she talked about it with other members and, like, mm-hmm. They, they all kind of came to a decision where it's best for everyone mm-hmm. that she she should graduate right mm-hmm. um, you know just it's just, just how it is man we're falling idols uh, some it's not for everyone right yeah. especially with uh, a group like Keiaki Zaka who is like always active mm-hmm. right because they kind of hit the ground running, right? It's it wasn't like a slow build up. It was just like yeah, they had yeah. the platform already. I mean, I mean we, yeah. we made jokes about how healthy Tetchy looked on a movie shooting schedule, right? Mm-hmm. Like that that just kind of shows a little bit of how intense their uh, their their schedule and like their workload is, right? Mm-hmm. Whether it's like, ooh, dude, I I'm feeling well rested shooting this movie, you know? Yeah. Like anyone who's been on a film set knows, it's like it is not pleasant times right for everybody it's like very stressful it's like you're on a time crunch constantly mm-hmm. yeah, yeah but like so yeah you know like every it's not just her right like all the members right they kind of mm-hmm. the way that Kiaki Zaka does things is kind of different yeah probably from yeah. other idol groups that start out group small and then get mm-hmm. bigger and then you know they'll get used to it or whatever as they gain more experience mm-hmm, mm-hmm this feels like you know they're just kind of hit with all these things all at once and it's like pretty overwhelming right you gotta imagine mm-hmm. yeah um, they're they're only about to be what two years old as a group mm-hmm. when you mm-hmm. you know and some of the stuff we talk about them is like not on a scale you would expect for most two-year groups right mm-hmm. like you know it's, it's it's kind of impressive when you you think about it right like, yeah, yeah. Like, who gets like hundreds of thousands of, of single sales like, oh, like your first year or even like second year you know they they, they performed at kohaku twice already you uh-huh. know like yeah they, they casually gave up mm-hmm. uh the one place what's the one place called budokan budokan, oh, budokan yeah yeah so it's mm-hmm. like yeah so yeah i don't know man i'm i'm gonna I'm be all right it's just you know i think maybe it's because kiaki is like kind of like the first group i've really followed since the beginning right yeah, like, they're I, I same already, for me. Yeah, yeah. I, like, and then, yeah, the first graduation, you know, it's like... Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, normally, uh, I'm pretty jaded when it comes to graduations. Like, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Within the other group, mm-hmm. I'm on my fourth Ocean Man. <laughs> <laughs> right? And, like, not even two years pass and, and my Oshi graduate, right? So, like... Uh, but... So I'm pretty just like okay yeah that's that sucks, but you know it happens right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you've seen it before in other groups, but this mm-hmm. is a little bit special because like same with Jimmy, uh, Kiaki Zaga is the first group that I followed since you know they they were created. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I may like other groups more, but like I don't have I don't feel that connection I guess. Right, since I followed Kiaki Zaka from the beginning, mm-hmm. so this is a little, a little special, I, I guess. Mm-hmm. Especially since uh, I thought Imaizumi was gonna be like their center. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I think that's what got me the most. It was like, 
she, like everyone wanted her to be center and even though she was on hiatus and coming back we were also rooting for her for her mm-hmm. to come up and then all of a sudden this yeah like, like to me just watching them uh like just watching her uh, i felt like she had a lot of the the qualities mm-hmm. which i enjoy in an idol right yeah mm-hmm. uh she sings well like she's cute she's funny mm-hmm. um, she's a sunshine of the group <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like yeah. her smile, you know. It sounds it sounds corny, but it's kind of true, right? Like, mm. like I, I've been Shit. okay. I've been rewatching a lot of old Kakite Kakenai. Like not, not even for because of this. Like before, right? Mm. Just just randomly. I think it was because like I don't know. I was on YouTube and one of those random compilations showed up or whatever, <laughs> and it was like them giving. It was like Sawebe's birthday. That episode, so I was like, oh, I remember this one. I'm, I'm gonna go rewatch this. So I started rewatching some random ones, and it's just like. I don't know. It's like her presence was... It's kind of hard to quantify, right? It's like... It's a lot of abstracts and X-Factor type things. Like, you know, her smile really lit up the room. But, like, you could kind of see it, though. You know? Mm-hmm. Even beyond, like... Oh, no, eat my zoomie! You know? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. She was, she was just, like, a really bright, sunshiny presence mm-hmm. in the group. In, in, in a very... Like, as far as how they're promoted, angsty emo group, right? Like, oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And to me, it was a, a little bit more noticeable when she came back from her hiatus. Mm. I was like, oh, look, Imaizumi's there. You know? mm. And, like, how she would laugh at Sawabe and stuff. Mm. And they would always point it out. And it's like, oh. Mm-hmm. But, but, yeah. Um, so what is Kobayashi going to do by herself now? Oh, dude, I feel she just bad. Wanted, she just wanted to support uh, Imaizumi. I don't want to say I feel bad for Pon, but, like... Like, I don't know how much Pon relies on Imaizumi, right? Mm. But, like, Pon's gonna kind of come in out on her own mm. recently, Yeah, right? I guess now she has to, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, just talking more on Kekite Kakenai and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of finding um, her personality and stuff, her character mm. on the show, right? I mean, she probably does have that, like, if you read her blogs or whatever. But, you know, since I don't follow any of that crap, I just watch their show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more apparent to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but like in the uh, announcement, it says that she's gonna continue being an actress and a talent, mm-hmm. which is interesting to me because I always saw her as like a, an artist and musician type. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, she plays all these instruments and she sings and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. There's like old footage of her singing at some like cafe or whatever. You know, like mm-hmm. I thought she would. Uh, go for that you know, mm-hmm. route or whatever maybe she wants to take the the long way around where like you become an actress so you become famous and then you become a singer and then you, you already have the fame mm. hopefully where you can do yeah, the other way I mean, around too and be justin timberlake you know <sighs> oh <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, I think i think it's because it's so fresh like it literally happened this morning it's like the mm-hmm. first one um our, our homie on uh, on Twitter, too much idea, translated. Uh, oh, our boy Tomomi yeah, too, Luchita, <laughs> my boy. Uh, he uh, he did. A, I always read that name wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to always until you said it, and then I look. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just too much. I, anyways, um, translated uh, Sugai's blog on it, and that just like broke my heart. You know. Mm. So I think that's kind of well, why it makes me so sad. Big up to the translations. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like. It's more of like because it's so sad for the other girls, right? But, mm-hmm. but I think yeah, it, especially oh, um, yeah. No, I'm just gonna mention like how they've always like, oh the the, the bonds and shit, right? Like mm-hmm. it's kind of they 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 kind of make that more apparent, uh, than uh, more more than other groups, right? Like yeah, like Nogizaka, there's there's no such thing, right? Like Nogizaka is like ah yeah whatever, you know like uh. <laughs> Come up to Senbatsu. Nah, nah, you go. You know, like Sen- Senbatsu under girls. That's been a system in in Nogizaka f- since they started, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's never been. I don't want to say that, but like, I, yeah, yeah, I, like, 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 I don't know anything about them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. you know, like how Kiyaki's always Kiyakizaka's always like, oh yeah, we're we're twenty one, twenty one strong. You can't wreck Kiyakizaka without twenty one yeah. strong. You know, like especially on the latest Kiyaki Takakenai, that that Moria poem. Oh, it's like, God. oh, it's not just one person. Mm-hmm. It's all of us, Kiyakizaka or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it, like yeah, that that Sugai blog must have been really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember reading old interviews where they like remember just talk about how you know like they know that day is gonna come when someone graduates, but it's like oh you know I can't imagine anyone of us not being in this group you know and I'm like mm-hmm. my children. 
And it's like, I don't know, man. It sucks being international fans, man. You know? Mm. Mm-hmm. It's like, so many things I want to convey, or at least just let them know that, like, as a fan, I'm here for them, right? But it's like, nope, I'm just some dude doing a podcast across the ocean, dude. Mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what's up. They haven't announced any of the dates or anything that w- when she's going to leave. Um, and they're probably planning it. Maybe their next single, I'll finally get a Imaizumi Center, Keikizaka. Am I right? Uh, yeah, because she just says she won't participate in this single, right? Yeah. But next... Yeah, yeah. Will she but be on my next single? Or? Who knows? Like, right? Might, maybe she, she might want out before the last one, but... I, uh, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but I'll, yeah. But I want to make it. I want to think they'll be like, "No, bitch, you get a center single, yeah. and then you leave." But I mean that that's like the the hope, right? She might just like dip and be like, "Nah, I'm good." Yeah. Just disappear. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe we'll yeah like if she's gonna continue in the entertainment, then um, hopefully they have they'll have they'll support her enough to like get her solo gigs or whatever because mm-hmm. i imagine she's just gonna stay under their agency right it's not like the other group where everyone's under a different well at least the top members are under different agencies mm-hmm. where they can get solo work that way i mean look at neru neru's always on a quiz show mm-hmm. uh, so guys has been in solo stuff too so mm-hmm. yeah i mean let's just but th- there's, there's one thing we can look forward to with this mm, what is that mr box that reminds me Instagram. <laughs> go, <laughs> let's go. Get out, bitch! Start that Instagram. <laughs> All right, let's you know go. what? Like, uh, if, if there's one thing to hope for, it's that, guys. You know, that is, that is the only connection we have as international fans mm-hmm. to graduated members. Dude. Give us that mm-hmm. IG, dude. Give us the IG, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know what? Woo. Like all, all sadness so looking and forward emo aside, let's, let's hope for the best and let's look forward to uh, sweet Instagram photos and lives, mm, dude. Ooh. Let's mm-hmm. go. <laughs> send send hearts whenever she's live. Woo. Exactly. Get them acting gigs, you know. Someone in the chat said maybe she'll be so good like Kawaii Rina. Mm. It was a, a, a honestly a surprise post graduation career. Yeah, right? she's. Like, She's really, in like really every well. movie. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, okay. Uh-huh. Let's go. Uh-huh. And you know, instead of doing stage plays like every other graduate, because mm-hmm. we can't watch those things. Uh-huh. You know, we 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 can't we can't ever take the past back. All we can do all we can do is uh, look forward. You know. I feel like that's gonna be uh some some weird like janky uh, Keiakizaka theme next, dude. All we can do is just <laughs> look look forward. My Shikamuka name. <laughs> <laughs> look forward to sweet Instagram accounts. That's what I'm looking for. Na na na. Whoa whoa oh. yeah whoa 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 whoa. <laughs> There we go. All right. Anyways, All right. um, speaking of some weird dance moves, um, we have a, you know, whoa. whoa. Anyways, um, <laughs> student dance. Kiaki Zaka's get, uh, new B side. B side, yeah. Video from ambivalent. Drop that music video. Um, we all watched it already, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. I was gonna say let's just talk about it because <laughs> watching the video is is long time since have we have more this. than one this week. But yeah, we can watch it together. All right, let's... Did you watch the other ones? I did watch the other okay. ones. Okay. Um. So can can we all say that none of us are fans of this song? Is that fair? No one likes this song. Have you seen Twitter? They're like, nah, trick. The song's fucking whack. Cause it is, dude. <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds corny to me. It, yeah, it sounds like uh like that faux rock like Yeah, like What are they going for? I don't know. It sounds like uh like like an evanescence rejected song. Oh. <laughs> Can't wake up. Student dance. Wake me up inside. Student dance. Wake me up inside. 
it's such a weird like I don't know what sound they were going for, so they like put together a mishmash of things that, to me, doesn't really blend that well. But the music video, they're like it's like some performance, some uh, camera just panning around the stage, and mm. they got like white outfits and uh, overalls, straight out of a Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, that's obviously the reference here, right? With like uh, the clock, the, the the literal clock. Mm-hmm. that they are on and like with the font it's like mm-hmm. in the pre-chorus i could kind of see the vibe they're going for but then the chorus it takes it... it it's uh it reminds me of new metal in the sense that it's just a bunch of things put together that just don't go together the uh, performance is kind of interesting though mm-hmm. there's probably but... some concept and idea to this whole music video but i'm too lazy to care yeah, the part with the water is yeah. kind of interesting. Maybe Got because it's dance. Only, only instrumentals, too. Yeah, and it's like the dance oh, maybe, break. Maybe, yeah. I hate the fake guitar. Oh, oh my goodness. yes, Like, the crunchy, distorted looks, synth guitar. It sounds so off with the rest <laughs> like, of the it's song. It's opening piano for guitar. I, I feel like this instrumental part is like the least offensive part of the song for me, personally. It's like that mm. stupid... Um, like a microphone filter, like loudspeaker filter mm. that they bring on their voice is just yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's so corny. I think the video at least is interesting. Yeah, it's just the song doesn't. Can someone really... put like a different song over this? And yeah, <laughs> the song doesn't do anything for me. Like elements of the video is cool. I like how they just like whatever. We'll get the staff in the show. Yeah, yeah. Like you just see the track that uh. I don't even care. If, if, if you looked at Nagasawa at the end, she was like looking around because she, she was doing the right thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's student, student dance. Um, that was interesting. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a secret place. Uh, uh, uh. See, see, in the beginning, I thought it was going to be like a banger because like, it started with the bass a little bit. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, what is this? And then like, it, was, it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, not, 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 not a... Not the strongest song. Not though. for me. Not not for me. Although I've heard the other song is pretty good. So. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. In the next couple weeks, or maybe the next week at least, we'll get more music videos from Ambivalent. So We need two more, right? Yeah, there's I'm Out. And then uh, there's the Goat Unit song. Damn, that should have been the Imaizumi song. Dude. Oh. I'm Out! <laughs> 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 but um what what were your guys thoughts in one word <laughs> Josh uh, uh. damn it you're supposed to say I'm ambivalent about it god damn it because I'm not I'm all ambivalent uh. ambivalent I straight up don't <laughs> like this one dude <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there we go. That's a that's a pass for me. All right, so that was um, student dance, but now we got some more some more music videos. This time from Onechan's oh. Nogi Zaki. Yeah, dude, Nogi Zaki with San Kaki. No Aki. No Akichi. Mm-hmm. This is the Undergirls um, song. Uh, it's mostly a performance music video. Right? But there's one important but, element in there oh, that everybody noticed. It which is a is? person who has been missing. <gasps> who? Nani? Dare, dude. Dale. The, the key chain. The key chain oh, is back. Key oh. chain. She's back, yes. Key mm. chain in the Undergirls. Finally back in the whole and all of it, really. She's mm-hmm. in the dance shot. She has some f- a few some solo solos, shots. Yeah. She's she straight up back in this. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Her hair is long now. Ugh. Uh, that's God okay, dude. Give, give, give her, give her some time. She's just, she's reacclimating herself. She's gonna show up. Stylist be like, all right, Keychan, I'm, I'm glad you're back, but uh, snip, snip. It took when warriors go to train for a long time and they come back with long hair, and then when oh, they're about to battle, they cut it. It's mm, gonna be the same thing. Let's go. Where my shears at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, this this uh, under lineup has Nakata Kana as the center, Ooh. 
I completely like, forgot because I got distracted by Kichan. And, uh, in the beginning, it's like this little girl and her grandfather or something. Like, look at this place. They're all these showgirls. And it's like this theater type thing. And uh, in the end, you find out that it's Nakata Kana. Oh, oh, my goodness. It was her all along. All along. She, There's some nice she shots. She was Bruce Willis, dude. There's like some um, nice shots of them like backstage getting ready in front of the mirrors and stuff. Wait, is that how you guys interpreted that music video? What? I, I interpreted it as Bruce Willis all along. No, I interpreted it as it was the it's the little girl and then the grandpa is looking at her and then seeing the potential in the future how she could be. Like dancing with someone else. With oh people. really? Oh. I, I, okay, I gotta I gotta rewatch it like not on the show and all. Well, because like in the end. In the it's end, the it's him. It's him watching the girl, and then like fades into the girl. Right, but yeah, in the end, it's like the girl in in Nakatakana's place, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That makes sense too. At least that's but, all then, I saw. but then they're like standing side by side, wearing like a similar outfit. With... Yeah, kind of like this is how I am, and this is what I could be. Oh, see that I thought I interpreted it as like that. They're both her. It's just one's the more mature, sophisticated her, like. The developed her, and then one is like yeah, the, the that's what I thought. So it's just wall. the little girl grown up, mm-hmm. and she's Nakatakana. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it's like it's it's loose, like it's, up, it's up to it. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's both are valid interpretations. Yeah. I mean, either way, the, the, the majority of the point is there. Either way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I feel like yeah, this is probably one of the more like aesthetically pleasing music videos I've seen in a while. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone looks good. Everyone, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone looks mm-hmm. great. Yeah, everyone looking good. The colors are mm-hmm. popping. Mm-hmm. Like keychains back. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. that's what I'm excited for. Yeah, I got some. Let's see if she uh, could get my my number one spot for second gen again. Oh, she's gonna climb back up, dude. She's gonna, she's gonna climb back up. She's gonna yep. tear open a photo, uh, like a, a phone book, and you'd be like, "Oh, I'm in." <laughs> she got. She's got to release her photo book that she shot already and was about to release, but then never came out. Oh yeah. Um, there, there's like one, like a bit towards like the one end. Oh, uh, so I was talking about some music video. Oh okay. Where everything's just blown out, and they're using some kind of like soft filter or something yeah. like that. I'm not a fan of that part as much. I feel like it comes out really out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, like with the stage lights and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah, at like three minutes and thirty seconds, right? You guys. Mm-hmm. Are- Mm-hmm. It's like the last chorus mm. before this guitar solo, yeah, which closes it out anyway. I think you know. I get that they're trying to make it like okay, this part needs to look different from the rest. Um, it's not as egregious when it spreads out into like the wider shots, but when yeah. it was the close-up shots. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, I have to shield my eyes a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, it's that diffusion filter. The uh, the video is not bad. Yeah. Everyone looks good. The colors are fine. Yeah. What about the song? I honestly can't remember how the song goes. Yeah, I was gonna say I forgot. It's a pretty standard undergirl song, I think. There's like dramatic feeling in the chorus. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm used to this. Okay. Maybe that's why, because it sounds like some other ones. It, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah, bad, yeah. But it's yeah, not. Bad. It's 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 kind of yeah standard fare it's, for. Uh, yeah, yeah. Standard Nogizaka fare, mm-hmm. in my opinion. So. Yeah. I can see that. I do like what they're doing with like the logos, like in the beginning of their music videos, like how they right. It's like it a up. floor plan. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um. Yeah. So they also released the video for Sora Tobira, which is the Nanatsu no Taizai uh, Seven Deadly Sins movie uh, movie theme song uh, Umezawa with Ume- Umezawa, Umezawa Center. The center. there we go. We we did it, guys. I quite like this video because it's very like. Uh, so like Their all NASA all, or the Japanese NASA, JAXA, which is Japan Exploration, which is cool, right? They actually, oh, is that the actual place? Yeah, like or at least in cooperation with it, because like the mm. the logo and like, mm. you know, the probably the the facilities mm. are of the space agency. Mm. So like it's the same sandbats, right? Yeah, as uh, Jiko Chude Iko, but Umezawa is the center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good center. Like this, the senpai members, 
they are uh, they're like uh, scientists or officials or like mm. they're all they're all yeah. they're all their different roles, right? Mm. And they're, they're like, gen are the, the students, right? They're gen, yeah. Mayan's like one of the. So she like comes in late in their meeting and stuff. Uh-huh. Should like, she the teacher? Oh, nice. Planning the missions. Mm-hmm. Momo, Momoko's ET or for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> that, that kind of that kind of threw me off when I first saw it. I was like, uh, is this like? I want to see an yeah, anime the of this narration. Now. <laughs> they're like, oh, she's like, oh, there's so many people here. There's like aliens. Uh-huh. Like, what? And then at the end, it's true. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the part where they're running because they're training or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Etomisa in like this this tight dress, she's like running in heels. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a <I'm> Tyson. <laughs> um, I really like these performance outfits. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's, it's pretty cute. Like I usually <laughs> always have like some some issue with like a performance outfit or something mm-hmm. like that, but uh, not not today, guys. I'm, mm. I'm I don't really like the key change into the chorus mm. they do this shit a lot right it's, Idol it's songs a very in general. it's a very lazy way of trying to hype up emotions right mm. like oh we're gonna make you feel key we're gonna, change we're gonna we're gonna slowcasm the, the pre <laughs> <laughs> no, i think the pre-chorus builds up fairly well but then the the key change just threw me off you know but uh yeah, the uh, performance outfits aren't bad. You know, they're very, I like the little, very like little sky fluffy. themed. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have liked to see uh, some some dance shots in the JAXA outfits though, dude. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. The the drama parts are enjoyable. Uh-huh. Like I would watch like a like a drama series of this. Like I, I feel I feel like there's enough characters film. and ca- enough I'm pretty character sure potential. There have been in the past. But with Nogizaka members? But not Nogizaka members. There we go. That's what we need. Yeah, where where where's uh cool senpai Mayan, dude? She's like the aloof one. Uh-huh. I, I go on my own schedule. Uh-huh. But I do care in my own ways. Like And, ooh, and then there's an episode where, where everyone looks at Umazawa and be like, No, you already have an in on it and but then she has to prove herself that she's friends with them. Damn mm. that drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the part in the video where they all fall asleep trying to put a puzzle together and they wake up and there's like puzzle pieces oh, yeah, yeah. on the cheek. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, the drama has nice moments, cute moments. Mm-hmm. Performance shots look nice. Mm-hmm. It does kind of it does kind of suffer from, from idol filter here and there. But from, from the dancing, I think right? just in the performance yeah. shots. Yeah. And there's like some during like the running shots too. too. Yeah, but, but like it's it's really minor though. It's like yeah, overall there's sufficient it. contrast for my liking. <laughs> the end is weird. Like the they're like looking up, mm-hmm. and Momoko has weird alien powers. Like what the <laughs> hell? Yeah. <laughs> um, and you get Ethel Misa in that tight dress, dude. So One of the stars more, of the show. What more could you ask for? Paisen. And then that, mm. that Mayan Onesan. Right. That was also good. Yeah. It's fairly yeah. enjoyable. Pretty solid. Mm. I think what I like the most is that they actually went to JAXA. Mm. Or, yeah, yeah. Or at yeah, least yeah. got, like, you know, official looking stuff. Mm-hmm. It, uh, yeah, it looks. It looks like a good set. Like, I, I doubt. Either they legit went to Jackson, which seems like most likely, or they actually put some money in and got like a decent set. Yeah, you know, it's 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 not. There's no like budget. Like, those are just CRT TVs, dude. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is, what kind of what kind of what kind of uh, yeah. conference room is this? You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, Nogizaka released more videos of Jiko Chudeiko. The one with Ashu, Momoko, and Yoda is mm-hmm. called Chikyu ga Maruinara. And it's like their classmates and their class is uh, out on a field trip. Mm-hmm. And like they freaking sneak out of the <laughs> right? bus to go eat stuff. Like, what the heck? How is this? They, they're How like do... at a rest area or some shit. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. like they, the three of them sneak out and then they oh. go on a food tour. We finna go eat. Uh-huh. And just like, As this... so they were like, ah, oh, I'm so hungry. There's like no food. And like, they weren't getting to their destination mm-hmm. uh, for a while or something like that. So they just like they just leave. How irresponsible these kids! 
And then at the end, they just sneak back in like right, nothing's right. happened. And like two classmates are like, hey, what the heck? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> like nobody noticed three people what missing. Is what is going on right here? But um, how would you guys, what would you guys think of the video? I'll go last. Uh, I, I did not like this video. Okay. I'm, I'm you didn't like I'm watching li- them eat? Uh, see, the concept is there. I really like the concept. There's just things about it that, like, irk me. Okay, I, okay. I'm not going to say it's, like, a hard rule. You need to always edit to the music or whatever. But there are there are times where it's, like, really awkward in this video. Where it's, like, oh, okay. Here's, like, a sliding shot of them eating at a table. And then, like, it's the pre-chorus of the song. Okay, we're about to go into the chorus. And I expect it to jump to something more exciting or interesting. Mm-hmm. At least, you know? And it's, nope, still the same shot sliding. Yeah. Even though we're like halfway through the, you know, it's like, it's like little things like that here, like throughout that, like kind of add up for me that just kind of like, I don't know there's some weird dissonance when I watch it. Um, like the song itself isn't um, very exciting, right? Mm-hmm. There's no like parts where you're like, oh yeah, and then, mm-hmm. you know, start grooving or whatever, but. Um, I have to agree with, I have to agree with chat. Uh, there's no, uh, Ash choking out her, her, her younger members. Yeah, like. We were expecting yeah, that's violence. Yeah, so we all wanted, dude. Instead, we got them eating uh, dessert, which which I thought would be great. Like I was like, I saw that, like when I just saw screenshots, I was like, oh, this is this is it, man. I'm in. But yeah, it just I don't know. Some of the, the editing choices really kind of yeah. take me out of it. I I think the editing choices have to come down to the footage. Uh, I feel like. I feel like they squeezed out all they could out of the footage that they had, and that's why sometimes it's like super long. Or like mm-hmm. there's a sliding shot and then like it, it, it adjusts a little and then it slides back, like that's not a regular thing an editor would let pass by. I feel like it was lack. <laughs> they ran out. Yeah. I yeah. Feel like Shit, it, guys. I feel like whoever recorded this was like, all right, we got the shot. Let's go. Let's not like get any extra or anything. See, like also there's no footage of them actually like performing. Uh-huh. Right. It's just mm. the parts where they're singing. It's just them like, oh, I'm yeah, eating, swinging. but, but suddenly I'm singing at you. Yeah. Like uh okay. Yeah, they could have yeah. probably had like a performance, like a cut into a performance shot. Yeah, or at least in the same in the same shop, go to a different area and record like a little performance thing. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, you had these lo- like these these wide establishing shots at the beach, right? Why mm-hmm. not? What in the long the length of the song, just shoot a quick performance of it there, and then so that way you have things to cut to mm-hmm. in case of instead things of like that. see, I would have been. <laughs> fine even with them just sitting there and just singing the song mm. yeah 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 and just cutting into it right like uh, you just you just lost their sd card i don't it, know like, i remember okay i remember i was talking to my friend who who's not an idol fan about this but we we're just because he was talking about a movie that he was just watching that he felt was kind of edited weird i was like speaking of edited weird this music video <laughs> i watched like i don't know i i don't i feel like i should never be analyzing an idol music video for its edits. You know what I mean? But like, I mean, they hire, like, they're Kiyakizaka. They should hire this, this someone no, who knows We're talking about Nogizaka, sir. Um, <laughs> Less money here. Well, no, but I'm, okay, I'm, I'm saying, like, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. It's like, what I'm trying to say is that, like, you know, when I'm watching this, I shouldn't be thinking about these things. It should just feel yeah. kind of natural and flow naturally, right? Like, Sora Tobira, for example, had, like, you know the drama portions and it cuts to performance portions and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and it just it, it's supposed to feel natural. So that like yeah, when you're yeah. watching it, like the the editing shouldn't be so bad that it takes you out of the video that you're suddenly thinking right. about it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but, what do you think of the song though? It's cute. Uh, it's like a really chill song. I kind of I, I do like the song. It's um. Like, I see what they're going for. It's like this little quaint, mm-hmm. you know, kind of pop song. They, they could have went full-on city pop, and it would have been awesome. Because mm. all, like, the uh, the stylix, stylistic, like, hints are there. Mm. It just doesn't go there, right? Mm. You know that meme uh, city pop song, right? Plastic Love? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you listen to that, and then you listen to this one... It like almost goes to the same place like, and it just like breaks oh. off. I'm like, no, please just make it a full out city pop song. It would have been so awesome. See, I I was actually thinking of going the opposite direction. I wanted them to kind of 
take away some like the electronic components of it and give me full folk pop. Yeah. Like, either one, one or yeah, the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, instead, they go down the middle. They, they toe like, the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <sighs> Teasing both sides. You know? <laughs> it had that like keyboard synthesizer, like very like reverb hit on the on the keys, and I'm like, oh. It's gonna, it's kind of gonna be like plastic love, maybe. <laughs> nope. They don't uh, go there. Right, let's dude. keep the uh, vocals. Disappointed me. We'll take out the the synths and we'll replace it with some banjo. <laughs> and a guy, either and a yeah, guy in a cone, dude. Like, that's what I. That's what <laughs> that's what I would I'll be like. okay with that too. Yeah, I, I'm all let's, about let's that. Do it. That folk pop, dude. But yeah, no, we have one or the other, right? Instead of like mm. that, mm, I can see that. Right? So it's like they're sprinkling they're too a little bit of everything. Af- it feels like they're too afraid of going either way so they're like let's just stay here just like that kiyaki music video that we saw <laughs> they're getting a little bit of everything <sighs> no, except that's just a little of everything awful dude <laughs> mm-hmm. anyway that's uh the uh nogizaka music videos mm-hmm. all right so kiyaki zaka 46 just dropped a new video while we were doing this podcast. Like, like right now <laughs> um it's the 302 Kyoshitsu, the Habu and Kobayashi duet. Mm-hmm. We got this super high like yeah, drone right, shot right. coming through. Oh, it's a super eight camera. This little yeah. drone, nicely coming oh, through. Oh no, I don't like I don't like these uh, low drone shots. Dude. Into the house. Is this whole thing gonna be shot with a drone? Oh, maybe it's like a one one shot yeah. thing. Oh, oh I love I, I love this cool. beat, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the jaunty yeah, sound. Dude. Uh, Habu lately, I don't know what it is, dude. I've always thought she was pretty, but lately, mm. uh-huh. this is good. Um, so it doesn't like get on too much the UE chance, right? Since it's Kobayashi, yeah. right? Like mm. you think it'd be like, oh, she's just Habu's just a replacement for Imaizumi. <laughs> no, bitch, <laughs> we're not doing that kind of shit no more. We're on the auto exposure. Did you guys? Uh... Well, it's a drone, man. Yeah, You're not gonna be shooting a drone in. I'm manual, pretty sure dude. it's a drone. Yeah, I mean, like, if you look at the camera's movements, that is yeah. a drone, right? Like, yeah, it, it, it's like one of those little drones. Have you guys seen that? Like a, a spark probably a Mavic. or whatever? I don't know. No, no, it's smaller than that. It's like an eraser. Oh. Mm. And it shoots, like, 1080. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, that makes sense. Like, this is one guy who did a music video. No, like, like a video of, like, people in 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 school. And then he was flying through, like, their arms resting like this and everything. Oh, be, be careful there. Ah, oh, they cut it. Ah, uh, it cut. See, if they're going to cut at all, I wish they just wouldn't have done this whole drone thing and then just switch to a, a camera on a gimbal. Uh-huh. Just hand, just the guy grabs the drone. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I think I like the the feel of this whole whole package. I, um, some of these leg shots. Oh, we're a mosquito. That's what we are. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. That's why. Jimmy's original form, the mosquito. <laughs> Right? That's what we are, right? That's why she just We're like us. a fly, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, something like that. A fly or something yeah, like that. fly or something, yeah. Okay, so I get the concept now. Yeah, that's why we're playing around kind of like this, I guess. Mm-hmm. I, ooh. Oh, well, no. oh, oh, the be- oh, this <laughs> this went from like an 8 to a 10 real quick. <laughs> yeah, we got some choreography. That's cool. Wow, Habu looks great in the commercial. <laughs> yeah, right? dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, like at this point, she's already, she's already to outshine Kobayashi. I wonder why they stuck with the one shot in the beginning, but then decided to go like, "All right, let's cut like crazy over here." All right, there's a lot more cutting in the end. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Oh no! no. <laughs> we should, now we're dead. We should just, right. we should right, just escaped. Um, yeah. So okay. this is what happened. This is this is the alternate timeline where Imaizumi graduates because she killed us, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. God damn. So that was yeah, uh, so, uh, Kiyaki Zaka's Sampiaku Ni Goshitsu, dude. Goshitsu and Kobayashi duet. Mm-hmm. Um, I was honestly expecting some more folky stuff, right? Just because it's Kobayashi mm-hmm. and someone else. But no, I'm stupid. I hit you with that jaunt, dude. That jaunty <laughs> guitar pop song. Uh, it's fairly enjoyable. Mm-hmm. I think that's my favorite so far. Yeah, dude. They're like, oh, we'll keep it in the 60s, but we're going to go another direction, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the much- video is kind of weird, but... 
much the better than, good, the, right? than their other one that we, just, that we saw earlier. I think this is probably one of the first times I've liked a verse just as much as the chorus. Mm. Right? Um, I feel like their, yeah. their, their choruses tend to be... The verses tend to be very amelodic, right? Like... They just kind of dial it in, you know. Yeah. Like everyone sing fast, not mm. much uh, variation in the melody. Yeah. Obvious um, examples are yeah, like the "You Reach Out" song, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is up there too. Um, I like it. Kind of keeps like uh, the the mood you come to expect from the duet while changing it up quite a bit. Mm-hmm. The PV is yeah. Uh, PV's uh, yeah, it's it's there. It could be better. There's some good shots of of. The, both of them yeah yeah like okay get this aside they, they both look fantastic right so if that's all you if that's all you're watching the music video for you're, you're, <laughs> which you're happy. I think most fans yeah, do yeah, so. you're, you're gonna be happy with this one um, yeah I don't know there's just some 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 really weird uh, weird editing choices once again I mean like I, I see the idea mm-hmm. like I, the idea is kind of cool but the execution is you know. mm-hmm. They could have done some crazy shots where it's like the drone flying in and the the guy grabs the drone and he becomes the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this, bro. Yeah, it's like they they made it they made it think that it's going to be a, a one shot take, right? And then you got to cut. And then uh from that point on I just wished it was like let's just use a gimbal, guys, you know. Like, <laughs> or at least they could have made the cuts a little more creative yeah. right mm. just like the quick pans at least because you know they eventually they change clothes mm-hmm. right mm. and they have like the performance outfits i assume and like the kimonos and stuff mm. they could have used like the quick pan for that i would be opposed little, little to such a cut pan dude yeah i, I, I think whip, i know a whip pan i think i know what they were going for they're going for more like a slow intro and then like it catching up and going faster and faster once the chorus hit and then go even faster and then at the end, kind of like calm down, mm. kind of like a little story arc. But I feel like he needs to read the drone. Yeah, yeah the, the drone work in the beginning made it seem like it was going to be a one shot kind of music video. But then when it just cut, it kind of like took all that out. And then it was just like mm-hmm. a long shot. Like, I ah, forget it. Like, Let's just do this instead. Okay. Yeah. So it, but uh, I think, yeah, overall, it's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, Habu and. Uh... Uh, pull and make it worth the watch for sure. Mm-hmm. Looking it's kind of a, uh, an interesting combination to me, but hey, mm-hmm. we'll, I'll take it. Worked a lot better than I thought we would. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe their voices fit better together. Mm. I'll listen to it more. It, mm. To me, at least, it it deserves another listen and mm. watch. Agreed. All right. So that was uh, Yankee Zaka. 46. Um, now it's on to everyone's favorite segment of the show. Um, probably the first time in a long time that's probably be like the original length that it was intended to be. <laughs> <laughs> like it should be. Uh-huh. The You, you want to do it? You do the honors, boy. Uh, yeah, it's time for a half-assed variety TV show roundup. Pew, pew. <laughs> Man. The first show is Hiragana Oshi Man. And it's mm. more of the stuff from last week, you know, the clever responses to things. Mm-hmm. But this time, it's uh, captioning pictures. Hooray. So it's a little bit more, it's a little easier. A little more memeable. Mm. Memeable, you know. So the first picture is a picture of young Kasuga. He's like, he's like 13 year old Kasuga on a plane. He has some old looking headphones on, looks like a stethoscope. And they're like, oh, caption these, uh, this photo, guys. And then, you know, they, they do their thing. Mm. <laughs> eh. The second picture is a picture of young Wakabayashi in, like, middle school or something. And he's, like, wearing a white tank top. Mm-hmm. And, like, all the responses center around that. <laughs> he's like, are you just going to talk about my shirt? Like, what the heck is this? Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, and then the third part, they switch it up, and they have four different pictures. And uh, the first picture is a baby Katoshi. Mm-hmm. Second mm. picture is baby Amanamu. And the 
third picture is a baby Bemiho. Mm-hmm. And the fourth one is young Kasuga again. <laughs> but a different picture oh. of it's like a younger Kasuga. Mm. And like the Katoshi picture, the baby's like looking up like oh and the second one, the Manamo one, is like she has her face against the wall. And the third one is just Bemiho like laying down. And then the fourth picture is Kasuga like doing like a pose but it looks like the revolution one. <laughs> Uh, and so like Kosaka this, this is the only thing I really remember Kosaka now like her caption for all of them is the same and it's like ah oh, ah oh shit it's Kasuga like ah oh. so like she starts with the Katoshi picture uh-huh. and she she's like yeah let me get, I have a response for picture number two mm-hmm. and it's the same and she does it for all the pictures <laughs> and then they're like yo you didn't erase anything did you like no nah. She <laughs> no, just wrote one thing. She's like, "Yeah, give me me. I have one." <laughs> um, anyway, the the winner is Sasaki Akumi. Mm. That's Sasaku, dude. And for winning, she gets a vest, like Kasuga, a pink one. Mm. Did she put it on? And, and he he writes like the winner. And so she puts it on. Oh, have to watch this episode now. Kas kas dance. Mm. She's like reluctantly going like this. Kas kas. Yes. So Wakabayashi is like, all right, send it off. Like, say goodbye or something. And they just keep doing it. It's like, freaking do something. <laughs> like, ah. Kasuga is all like, ah, I was kind of hoping we could do this for like five minutes. <laughs> See how long we can do this for. Mm. A little, little, little endurance battle, you know? Mm-hmm. And then that's pretty much the main episode. Mm-hmm. The last part is a performance of Dare Yorimo Takakutobe. The first hiragana song. So um, good. Back when things were and it's yeah. Simpler. It was from the uh, the tour, the same tour where they've been showing the performance of for the past like four weeks. It showed like the engine in the beginning. They do the huddle and Kageyama was there. I was like, what the heck? She was there from the beginning of the show, and she only showed up in the encore. Yo, hit out. Well, maybe she didn't practice, you know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Talking about practice. Mm-hmm. After that, it's Kiakite. Kiakite. Kakenai. Mm-hmm. Bakon. We all watched this, but it has the shortest description out of all. Of I watched this, but like. It, it's kind of the straightforward, right? It's more of the same. I wasn't uh, very invested in watching it. I was yeah, kind of tired. Some more, some more, some more of the Senryu's what we left off on last time, right? Yeah. Um, let's see some interesting ones. Uh, Moria's were all very nice, except they were very simple and sounded thing like things that like a, a second, second grader would have would have uh-huh. written. And they're like, so, and oh. let's take a look at Moria Akane-chan's. <laughs> Everyone Poems. working together. Kiyakite, Kiyaki Zaka, 46. They're like, how cute, look at that. <laughs> Striving to be the best. Kiyaki Zaka. Like, oh, <laughs> all right, girl. You know, okay, um, Moria Kanechan, thank you for your uh, poems. After that, we had some, uh, better write some uh, poems in the style of, uh, I guess, acclaimed poet Aida Mitsuo. Um, mm-hmm. The highlight of this section was how much Habu sucked. <laughs> she she understood the the prompt incorrectly. Uh-huh. She she understood like so Mitsu O like she read it as like Ida Mitsu and then O like the particle mm-hmm. for like uh, like an object. So then Mitsu can also be interpreted as honey. So she made all of her things about someone that can breathe Swallow. honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breathe yeah. honey. Yeah, dude. So like, dumb. Yeah, dude. She's like, oh. You shouldn't breathe honey. That's bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> so good, dude. So good. Because Tsuchi was just like, no, let's just... Yeah, <laughs> we're like, okay, Habu. next we have Habu's. I'm like, no, please. <laughs> I can please. Only, I can only take so much. She was uh, super cute this episode, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. <sighs> Sasuga, almost my Oshima. <laughs> <laughs> so... I feel like she was almost a lot of people's Oshiman, mm. dude. Like, she was in the, the running for quite a few people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was and, her. Uh, uh, this episode, she showed why, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tokuyama Daigoro performance really won it over. 
And I was like, yeah. you will be one of them. <laughs> Run her up. But in the end, I didn't pick her. There can only be one. There can only be one, yeah. That's the deal with Oceans, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's probably something else, but I don't remember. It's been a rough week. Uh, but yeah, you so. you put one. You put one. one as her uh, her comment about the boom mic was pretty funny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's like oh I feel bad for uh like it was part of the the Senryu right. It's like oh the the boom mic operator has to work super hard. Yeah, yeah exactly. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> They're like oh do, do you have to move more? For this show than uh, others, he's like, yeah, pretty much. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, look at Pe. She has her own lab mic. She's <laughs> like, 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 it's like yeah, they, they gave up on her, dude. Yeah, like, like, or else the boom mic would have to be here the whole time. <laughs> Forget it. We'll just put it on her. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's quite an quite an intense setup, right? He's got that on the the giant stand. He's just, oh god, they're talking on this side yeah. now. Oh, okay, uh, oh god. Because you know, no one projects their voice on that show. Mm -hmm. The uh, lesson from Yoshimura only lasted for a week. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone's everyone's guy is gone, dude. Yeah. He just has to come back like every two weeks. Yeah. Alright. So, okay. moving on, we have Nogizaka Koji Chu. Mm -hmm. Alright, Mr. Box, take it away. Right. Apparently, I'm the only one that watched the 21st single campaign. Episode. I watched half of it, okay? Half. I'm not done watching it. I normally, <laughs> I normally love the campaign episodes I just I haven't had time well this is this is a, a fun episode if you enjoy either Ash Minami Minami or Renton and sometimes Ayane ooh I enjoy all the things you just said well there we go well Ayane's in there sometimes because she doesn't feel good and she was only in one segment out of the three yes so they go mountain biking ooh uh, they they learn how to go through treacherous terrain, not that treacherous, just a little treacherous, and they go through with their bikes. It's all about then, Nathan Bennett San, right? The their guide. Is it his name? Bennett Bennett Chan. He's like, please oh, yeah, call Bennett, me Bennett Chan. Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed that all of them were like guy coaching? Yeah, all, all the partners, yeah, all the instructors. Um, so yeah, they do that, and then Ash bullies uh minami the taller yeah. one mm. yeah, but, but, but then but, but then they it's funny because ash makes fun of someone but then ren time makes fun of her and then she starts laughing at her <laughs> ash is like Man, just stop it already <laughs> it's so funny because like ash doesn't really talk to Mizawa. uh -huh. she's like oh um hi i'm saito saito this she's like oh we don't really talk to each other uh -huh. Uh, and then uh, then they go they go ATV riding and this is where Ayane was in and then the whole time they're like oh it's so fun it's so fun Ayane's just like <laughs> I'm sick her, her usual face uh huh um, and then they go sliding down a water stream water, it's like it's like a slide but the water pushes you through but it's like naturally occurring so they go through that um, they're like it's like smooth because of the water flow yeah exactly right. And then they're like, oh, who should go first? And nobody says anything. So Umuzawa's like, all right, I'll go first if no one wants to. And then they're just like, oh, <laughs> I'm a man. Man. Uh, yeah, so, so then they all go through. And then Ash goes through, but she's a little, like, nervous. So so she accidentally rolls over, and she's like, goes un under the water a little and comes back out. And she's like, I can't do this. Stop, stop. But she's still sliding down. <laughs> and then... uh. Yeah, they all make it, and then they all no hang on to, okay, to the coach, and they all swim backwards and float up and look at the nice sky. Oh, successful single. Mm -hmm. though, though they didn't scream it. The Is it going to continue next week? Because they didn't have, like, the, oh, we have to go to the power spot oh. and wish for the success of our single and shit like that, and then they have the, the music video... From the episode. Oh, you're playing in the background, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of their adventures. Think... Yeah, yeah. Maybe I just didn't see that part. Maybe yeah. I didn't watch the ending. But Last yeah, week. I guess if you didn't see it, maybe it might be next week. So. Yeah, because all I saw was up until like, because I, I, I was I was at work and I was too lazy to like go and download <laughs> it. So I was just like, all right, I'll just watch this YouTube stream real quick, and then it just ended like right where the episode actually ends. So I didn't see a preview. 
Okay. I'll, I'll check during the so, posted show, dude. Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll finish watching it later. Okay. Oh, someone says in chat, yeah, it continues next week. There you go. There we go. We'll see more of this, and then maybe we could all watch it this time. Indeed. Word. <laughs> Word, my bad. Just getting back into the groove of things. Uh-huh. It's been a long week, and... Mm-hmm. So yeah, that does it for the half-ass TV show round. That's the time we ideally plan for this. Pew, pew. That's how long it should really be. So maybe we should strive for this. Strive life. for this, dude. <laughs> Instead of talking about it for a good forty minutes. Half the half the podcast. Yeah, uh-huh. you're right. You right. Anyway, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if you guys stuck around till the end of the show, here's uh, your reward like to announce that later nick. next week nick will be streaming on this channel with necronomidol ooh nobody <laughs> guessed saw that coming <laughs> nobody saw that coming damn <laughs> but yeah just in case uh if you guys didn't catch it at the beginning of the show we did announce it uh make sure you save save the date um mm-hmm. it'll be at uh one o'clock p.m uh on the 14th japan time Mm -hmm. so make sure you guys check whatever that is for you guys uh if you're in california that's going to be nine o'clock the evening on monday the 13th Mm -hmm. right um yeah it's uh hopefully the beginning of uh many more things but nick will tell you all about that when he's on um you guys can make sure to watch that here twitch.tv slash slope uh, Slope Club, if you're watching on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, check it out. Uh, we're really stoked. Uh, we're going to be seeing Necronomidol shortly after that in LA. So I think mm-hmm. he's going to be talking with him a little bit about that and uh, mm-hmm. giving you guys an introduction to the group, you know, in case you don't know much about them yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if you watched the previous stream we did with Machi Musume, uh, it's going to be similar to that. You know, we're going to be sending him missions and shit. Tell him do things. Mm. Shook re- report this uh-huh. food. Brah. Uh-huh. Do the Sh- do the exile choo choo train. Shit. Sh- show that girl my my Instagram video of me lifting, dude. Tell Ooh. her ask her what she thinks of my squats. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll yeah, you know, we'll we'll have fun with the that stuff. Mm. Tell him what to do through the chat and stuff. Uh-huh. You can of course ask Necronomidal things, just please keep it cool and not uh-huh. lewd yeah 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 we're represent us well all right don't don't <laughs> don't have nick come on here and then like oh we all the the slope fans are watching oh and they're like oh, oh she's single <laughs> show me titties nick <laughs> show me show titties are gtfo nick so that'd be me dude i want to see nick's titty wait what what uh, but anyways, yeah, so make sure you guys uh, check that out. And as always, uh, we are Slope Club. You can uh, always yeah, watch us live. Everyone be James in the chat, okay? Don't be yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, James, yeah, James in the chat, James, please. Yeah. No Jimmy, please. please. No Jimmy, yeah. No Jimmy's. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you can always check us out on twitch.tv slash Slope Club. Uh, YouTube mm-hmm. at the same place. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter instagram all that good stuff to find out the latest and greatest on what we're doing what's going mm-hmm. on we'll be having much more content coming at you very shortly so uh mm-hmm. look forward to that and yeah this has been slope podcast episode 35 dude mm-hmm. have, bye have a good one guys goodbye <laughs>